It's Boxing Mind TV on with another one. You ready, Tyler? Let's get to it. All right. Uh, Devin Haney versus uh, Gamboa should be an easy win for Devin Haney, in my opinion. You know, um, I just want to get my two cents on this on this fight real quick. You know, I think it's going to be an easy win for Devin Haney. For one, Gamboa is getting old. 38 years old. He's an old lion. You know, um, I think it's, 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 you know, he's just kind of like taking the, any big fights he can take right now. Get as much money as he can right now. But I don't really think he think he, I don't really think he thinks he could win any of those fights. You know what I'm saying? That he's taking. He took one with Tank. Um, he lost that fight. He ruptured his Achilles. You know, his body is basically breaking down. You know what I'm saying? You know, boxers, they, they have injuries and in, in fights and stuff or during training camp. But his body is breaking down. And rupturing, rupturing his Achilles, you don't know how he's going to be afterwards. You know what I'm saying? How his movement is going to be around the ring. You know, how that's going to affect him, his mobility. Um... And 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 he next and his next coming fights, well, his next fight with uh, Devin Haney, don't we don't know how that's gonna affect him, you know? All we could do is kind of wait, but I feel like um, he's not gonna be able to do anything with Devin Haney, you know what I'm saying? I think you know, I think uh, Gamboa best days are behind him. You know, he's a good fighter, but he's more now. I think. Then a good fire, he's more of a just a good a good name to have, you know what I'm saying? It's a good name to have, you know. He's a he's he's an accomplished amateur fighter. He's won a couple of belts. He's he was kind of hot when he first came out with um with uh 50 Cent, I think SMS promotions with Mayweather and 50 Cent was come together, but that didn't happen. But that didn't really happen as smoothly as you know it was projected projected to happen. But anyway. Gamboa was hot, was a little bit hot back then, but um, I think it's more now. He's just more of a name to fight. You know, people know him more. He, people know the name Gamboa. They know him. He was he was good. He fought Crawford, you know, stuff like that. And now he's fought Tank, and you know that was cool, whatever. But I think it's just more of a name now. And I think Tank, not Tank, but I think Devin Haney. He's a He's a young line. He's 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 strong. He's fast. He's skilled, and I feel like he's gonna come out and um, eventually, and uh, eventually beat him the same way Crawford did. He's gonna knock him out in the fight. You know what I mean? In good fashion. He's gonna knock him out and dominate Gamboa. You know, in a better fashion than Tank did. You know, Tank was kind of like. Um, probably off his game a little bit against Gamboa. So I think I think Devin Henry's gonna come and kind of like you know decapitate De- Gamboa and just finish him off. You know he's an old man anyway. You know what I'm saying. So go ahead and finish him off and um, and uh, finish him for real, like Mortal Kombat style. You know what I'm saying. You know uh, it's, it's over with for him. You know right now I think he's just, he just a good name, just a good name to pick. Right now, during the pandemic, you know, just to keep things going, keep things, you know, um, to keep the, the, the tools sharpened, you know, for Devin Haney. That's all it is, for real. That's how I see it. I don't see it as something to, uh, for Devin Haney to, to feel threatened, you know what I'm saying? Of course, he has to go, goes in, he, of course, he has to go, goes into the fight, uh, ready for anything and, um, not taking it lightly. But I don't think Gamboa can, can do anything that can uh, do anything to to David Haney to you know to actually stop stop his uh, his, his his path. You know what I'm saying? I think Gamboa is just there to get to get paid, and he's just grabbing all the big fights as he, as he can for real. But not really there to try to win, to really you know be a threat to winning the fight. You know what I'm saying? Or to pull off an upset. I don't think it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen. You know, I feel like Gamboa should have took a tune up, you know, before he fought Devin Haney. But like I said, he just coming in there to you know 
take a big fight. You know, he's getting older and trying to get as much money as he can before he, he steps out the game. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I think Devin Henning is just going to come in and, and, and dominate him and win the fight. And, you know, just uh, just a little tune up, you know, just a little a little fight to keep keeps the tool sharpened. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep it help him to keep help him to stay sharp and stay, you know, um, just just, you know, just, you know, you know, ready, ready for the next fight, <laughs> basically. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how I see it. You know, young lion taking out an old lion. That's how I see the fight going. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. Boxing on TV, and I'm out.